Hello, welcome to a new episode in the FLTK series. So, uh, if you've been following the updates with the FLTK Rust bindings, I've basically recently just uh, removed the C wrapper into its own uh, repo, so it can basically be used to create C applications or be used to create other bindings for other languages, which I also plan uh, for uh, Zig for the moment. There are instructions on how to add it to a project and an example uh, CMakeLets file. So uh, in this video we'll try to use it uh, to create an Android uh, application, GUI application. So I have Android Studio open. So we'll create a native uh, C++ application. We'll, we'll be using C. So uh, give it whatever name, finish. So this is the Java code uh, we don't need for the moment. I've also created another repo with an example uh, Android uh, application using uh, the bindings. So this is done loading. We'll be using the uh, CMake lists from here. Also, be using the options uh, passed to FLTK since uh, basically we'll be building libpng, JPEG, etc. Uh, we don't need the uh, to build the tests or the examples, so uh, copy this and add it here. And basically, we need to modify the manifest itself. So if you notice here, uh, it's a uh, main activity, which is a Java application. So we need to uh, make it understand that it's a native activity. You can see here that uh, here it's Android app native activity. So we'll just copy this. And you can notice here the lib name is native lib. Uh, here we, ha we have the uh, library, the add library native lib. It's a shared library, and notice that the uh, the, the lib name has the uh, extension .c. So I'll just uh, refactor this. Um, <coughs> okay, so uh, we'll now add the uh, the uh, wrapper itself to our project. So, oops. Okay, and we'll follow the instructions in here. So uh, basically, we'll be cloning the repo. You can add it as a git submodule. Here, uh, here we're just uh, cloning it. So uh, and uh, there are some instructions here. Uh, basically, this uh, repo. Oops, what is this? Uh, so. Okay, I think it's a typo here, yeah. And uh, just update everything, the submodules, since it's in it includes uh, FLTK as a submodule. And basically, the last step, which is optional, is to apply a patch, uh, which makes building it for Android uh, a bit easier. Uh, basically deletes the version file from uh, FLTK itself since uh, uh, it uh, causes build problems with the Clang toolchain. Basically conflicts with the header itself, the C++ header version, so I'll just apply the patch or since we're on Windows, so get y dk patch and basically that is it, so uh, we'll try to uh, build now 
So the first build usually takes uh, some time. So we'll remove this. I have some code here. So this basically uh, defines a callback. So uh, first of all, we use the init all in main, create a window, a button, uh, window end, window show. Uh, then we set the color for the window as white, the button as magenta, the selection color for the button is dark magenta, uh, the label color is white for the button. Uh, we clear the visible focus and uh, the uh, we set the box around the button as a uh, rounded flat box we set the label size for the button and the callback itself for the button uh, which is this one so uh, basically in the callback uh, we don't pass anything as data uh, the, the callback basically just has a uh, statically uh, static buffer uh, we uh, change the label of the button to an int, we increment the int, and then we uh, basically uh, format the buffer as the new value of the int, and then we set the label of the uh, of the button itself as the uh, text. So uh, if everything went well, we get this, and this basically works. So this is a C application uh, working on. As a C GUI application on Android. So that was basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll be creating more videos soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.